So part two of the Zoom uh, Zoom lessons here uh, is setting up your virtual camera if you want to do that, right? So why would you want to set up a virtual camera? Think about it this way. Whatever you share in your Ecamm Live, your Zoom guests will actually see, all right? So that means if you are streaming to Facebook and YouTube and somebody types a comment in there and you bring it live onto the screen, uh, both you and the Zoom guest can actually read that, right? So, so that'd be a, be a reason why. Uh, you know, if you're sharing a PowerPoint presentation through Ecamm, uh, you can go ahead and uh, have your guest see that as well, right? So th that might be a reason why. Another reason is if you're using a green screen like I'm using right now. Uh, if you did not use a, use a, a virtual camera, this is what your guest would see. It would see whatever's coming through your live camera right now, unaffected by Ecamm, okay? Um, they could see all that junk left and right, right? So anyways, that's why you may want to choose to have uh, a virtual camera being pushed to Zoom so that your guests can see exactly what's going on on your Ecamm Live. And it also, you know, uh, like I said, helps you answer questions and uh, take distracting things out, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with the virtual camera. How do you get it set up? Uh, you do all that in Ecamm Live first, and you're going to go to the output menu, go to virtual camera, make sure you install it. And then after you install it, uh, you should be able to toggle it on. Okay, so you can click, click that on button. So that's really all you have to do uh, to set up for the virtual camera inside Ecamm. Now it's time to set up some things in uh, your Zoom settings. Okay, so with your Zoom open, uh, you're going to go up to uh, the Preferences. And uh, we'll talk about the video first. So you should be able to see uh, a new dropdown in here. Now, if you're not seeing it, close out of Zoom and reopen it. Okay, you should see it. Okay, um, so that's what you want to set up for. Uh, audio, uh, this is kind of important as well. If you're streaming to Facebook, YouTube, uh, you know, through Ecamm Live, you're, you're going to want to make sure that your microphone, uh, you know, I set mine to uh, my microphone right now, right? Uh, so that's fine. Um, or you can choose it to be same as system, whichever one that you, whichever one that you want for this. But uh, for the speaker, if you want your Facebook audience, if you want Ecamm Live to register the audio coming from your Zoom meeting uh, or webinar, right? Uh, you need to make sure that this says same as system. All right. Otherwise, uh, you know, people on the other end, uh, as far as who you're streaming to, will not be able to hear your guest. And you'll you'll ask yourself, well, I can hear you. I can hear them just fine. And you're right. But uh, a lot of times folks will have whatever, um, you know, whatever speaker they want to have that on, whether it be their built in output. Uh, and so on. So keep that same as system because Ecamm Live does some special magic in the background to allow your system audio to come through the broadcast. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and close out of that and the system audio that I'm talking about. So uh, again, once we get a guest on here, uh, this is the system audio that we're talking about. We're going to be able to see this meter uh, register. And if you don't, uh, you, you'll know you'll have uh, an error going on uh, with the system with your uh, Zoom settings and audio. Okay, but that's the level that we're going to watch for once we get somebody live uh, on our Zoom meeting. Okay, so that's how you set up the virtual camera. You do the you do that. We also set up our audio. That's great as well. And now we need to go ahead and uh, you know the next video here. We're going to go into an actual Zoom meeting, and we'll show you how to set that up. So if they have their video on uh, and audio, we can do some video audio checks. And then uh, we'll also go into how we can sort of hide some of the things that Zoom has in it. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll show you all that in the next few videos.